A murder left these three brothers without a mother. Your mom just dead and you don't know why. And you really want to ask, I really want to ask the question why. The new break that could help police solve this 15-year-old case. Live, local, late breaking. This is Channel 2 Action News at 4 p.m. Coverage you can count on. Good afternoon. I'm Monica Pearson. And I'm John Bachman. Patricia Sheffield's murder in 1996 split apart her family. But this afternoon, 15 years after the crime, we've learned police finally have identified a person of interest. Channel 2's Ryan Young is live in northwest Atlanta with the new leads in this case. Ryan. The details of this story are quite sad. Just imagine your mother being found in an apartment complex that was over here 15 years ago found dead. They split the family up, the youngest being an infant, and at this point, the brothers haven't even seen their sister years. Jean Aldo and Mario Sheffield learned very early how tough life could be. As kids, someone told them their mother, Patricia Sheffield, was murdered in 1996. The oldest here was just 12 years old. Their sister was an infant. One mom told me before she died, you know, you know, take care of your brother. And your sister, not much. I was like, what, 12 then? And we've been in the foster home all our life. Painful. Not a good feeling at all. Atlanta police have never stopped looking for Patricia's killer. Vincent Velasquez, APD homicide, 1996 murder. And new technology and science is helping police heat up this cold case. And in this complex, the victim uh, lived here, Patricia Sheffield. She was 39 years old. Uh, and on June 17th, her father, we had been trying to get in touch with her for at least four days. The apartment complex is gone, but detectives are looking through old photos like this one and key evidence that's led them to this moment. As a result of all of that effort that we've done, uh, we have developed a person of interest. Uh, this person uh, could be connected to Ms. Sheffield. Uh, we're not saying that he's responsible for her death, but he's certainly somebody that we want to talk to. And I really want to ask him why. A person of interest, one they believe frequents homeless areas, maybe even homeless shelters. The reason why they're saying a person of an interest is because they're going through a checklist of all the people who are involved in this case. They want to talk to everybody to eliminate anyone who could possibly be responsible for this murder. We're live in Northwest Atlanta, Ryan Young. Channel 2 Action News. Incredible after all this time, Ryan. Thank you very much. We'll see you next hour. If you have any information about the murder, call Crime Stoppers at 404-577-TIPS. That's 404-577-8477. You can remain anonymous and still be eligible for a reward. We are here.